Thank you. All right, Sports Quiet here with Sally Famous from Georgia State Volleyball. We were just talking off air, very interesting weekend. You were able to sweep Georgia Southern and then got swept by Georgia Southern. But before we get to the, to the win, discuss the overall weekend and just your impressions of it. Each weekend is a great opportunity for us to grow. And this was actually Georgia Southern's first weekend playing this fall. And next week will be Coastal Carolina's first weekend playing this fall. So we've had a little bit of everyone. Troy's first weekend, Georgia Southern's, and then Coastal Carolina's were their first matches of the year. So that's good in a lot of ways um, for us to be able to scout is before the match is really not an option, but making in-match changes, adjustments is very good for our team. So looking at Georgia Southern, I think we came out with a very good mentality to make adjustments from the get-go, really play our game. Um, we, we had a, a solid, from the service line, from uh, attacking, very solid production from block and defense. So it was a very smooth match on Thursday, our first match versus Georgia Southern. On Friday, we had a couple injuries on Thursday that had us change our rotations and limited our lineup. So we didn't adjust as well as I wanted to with new players in the game. So that's kind of what we're working on this week is making adjustments no matter who our personnel is. And you've had to use a lot of young players with uh, Ava, Ali, and Aaron, and even Clara as well. Those are four freshmen who have seen significant time for you. Uh, how has that been for you trying to incorporate these players into the college game? And, and so you have some injuries, so you, they've had to play a lot earlier than maybe even you expected. So really for them, I'm, I'm pretty excited about their um, drive and practice to learn and get better. Clara has actually started out as a middle for us, but because of injuries, we had to move her to the right side and she had gotten injured this pre preseason. So she's only been back in our gym for two weeks and having her back playing a new position. I thought she did some really nice things, especially at the end of the second match of Georgia Southern, she had 500 in the third set, which was really good. She had five kills. So we see her progression and now it's just, she needs a little bit of time to get there. Um, Allie has been a very stable player from us, for us for, from the beginning, playing in that defensive slash six, two setter role. And uh, Ava's done a really nice job. She had a little bit of time in the libero Jersey this weekend and is a solid, solid player. And we're very excited about her. Isabel Percoco is a red shirt freshman and she got a little bit of time against Georgia Southern. And so it, Katie Strickland is a freshman. So it's a big, even though we're very senior laden class or team, we have a lot of freshmen that are, are playing significant amounts. Are you looking, you mentioned uh, several players like Clara, I guess had to move positions during the season. Does that happen often or is that something that you try to avoid, especially for incoming player if they're set to be a middle or a, a right side or even a, a anything like that do you want to keep them in that spot or was that just a necessity with what's going on with the team so 2020 has put a, a couple obstacles in there just with covid in general and um, players that are international coming back and so that that has an impact on our team as far as depths in different positions and then along with injuries. And so it would be awesome if we could train a player in their one position. This year just isn't the case for us. We don't have a lot of depth on our outside. Um, we had four middles and so that gave us depth in the middle. So we moved Clara to the right side with help on the pins just because we're so limited in that area. And now you prepare to face Coastal Carolina for three matches. Actually, going back to Georgia Southern, one, one last question, question on that. Have you know since we're, you're playing these matches now consecutively with teams, have you what's the adjustment been? Is it more typical or is it a little bit different because you're playing these teams so often consecutively, uh, any type of matches as opposed to for for listeners and viewers normally you play two teams over a weekend you play a team on a friday and you may go somewhere on a saturday or a friday sunday whatever rotation is but you're staying in one location playing the same team uh, multiple times how does that affect your adjustments do you want to show everything in the first match or hold something back uh, for the next one uh, how do you just deal with it 
So the you want to win as quick as possible. I'll tell you that because not only are we say, playing the same team in the same location three times in a row, it's very short um, time frame between one match and the next match. So we're playing at 11 and then back again. So that match usually ends around 1, 130, and then you're back at it at 6. And so you're warming up at 5 p.m. for that 6 p.m. match. So that's a very short turnaround for scout recovery, all of those things. And then to play the next day at 1 p.m. Uh, for the third match. And so this is going to be very great for our team as far as adjustments, mental focus, fatigue, you know, all of those things are, are key to um, beating a team two to three consecutive times. And now you have Coastal Carolina coming in uh, for three matches. Uh, have you been able to see any of their, is it their first match? I, I thought they played already. I think, did they, have they played no, already? This will be their first match. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Already. So once again, you get another team's first match. Do you go back to last season? They're in the conference, so you played them before. Uh, do you go back to last season? Do you try to see who the new players are? How do you prepare for a team once again for oh. their season opener? Yes, all the above. And so looking at, we actually watched a couple matches of them last year, even though they have several new personnel um, that will probably make impacts on their lineup. We take an educated guess of what we'll see, just the history of the offense, the type of offense they run, the type of defense they run. Those types of things are very important. Um, so we do a little bit of history research, but then also it's really about our side of the net still and us finding our kills. So Coastal is definitely in the mix this week of what we're planning for and talking about, but it, it's really us finding our kills and taking care of the ball.